Hey everyone, this is Martin from HowToMakeMobileGames.com on December the 7th, uh, I think it is. Yes, no? Yep, it's December 7th, 2016. Uh, Wednesday here, uh, once again in Manchester, England. And I'm turning this way today so that I can get a little bit more light on the camera because it seems last time when, the, uh, when I was sat over that side of the room, the light was hitting the camera and I was just like this dark image uh, on the screen. So hopefully this is a little bit better. I, this video is talking about how much money we made in November 2016. So looking back over the ad networks like Chartboost and AppLovin mainly, as those are still two, uh, are two sort of primary uh, revenue channels still. Uh, but we have started to make a, a little bit of extra dollars each day uh, with our VR games. Uh, but first off, I just wanted to give a general update of what's been going on uh, on my side. So, uh, as a lot of you know, I, I came back to England in October and the plan was at the time to uh, search for a game job in England, um, hopefully in the Manchester area, which is where I am now and living with my family for until my wife comes over to England. Um, but uh, it seems like the, the job... Um, the job situation in the northwest of England was fairly thin and that's sort of the feedback that I got from a lot of the agencies as well. Uh, they didn't find a lot of positions available in Manchester specifically or surrounding areas. So, um, and the other thing is, uh, uh, well, to follow up, I've now started to register Cobalt Play as an official limited company in England. So that's the first time uh, I've done that because obviously I've been away in China for 10 years. Uh, I'm back in England now uh, and I'll hopefully... Uh, be settled here for the next few years until we decide to move to a warmer climate because yeah we don't want to stay in England too cold um, too grey as well uh, so yeah the company Cobble Play is going through the registration process now as an official limited company in the UK which is going to be very interesting for me because it's it's the uh, it's the first time that I've gone and have to handle a UK limited company and do things like bookkeeping and year-end accounts and uh, we also have a pay AYE system which is pay as you earn so that you pay to the HMRC which is Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs Tax um, uh, body for the government so I've got to do all of that stuff and I'm still figuring it out. Uh, I've done some research on it and uh, registering the company was very cheap, it was only £12. Uh, I don't think I need anything else beyond that right now, but it's the first time for me so it's going to be pretty interesting. The goal is that what I can hopefully do is apply for some of the UK game funds that we have here. So I'm building a game right now which is um, a, a number based puzzle game, sort of a, an IQ tile number game. Um, aimed at both mobile and VR but I'm testing both of them because you know the mobile market is just so jam-packed it might be better just to go for VR and 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 have the go for the less saturated market the more premium market because there's a million number games on you know the iOS store and Google Play and they're all free as well so I might just focus on the uh, on the VR so I'm gonna be testing that soon uh, I've gone back to full-time development now for Cobalt Play uh, myself because of the the change in situation here and uh, sort of the reduced cash flow as well. So what I've had to do is basically, um, instead of looking for another job and working for another company, as I said, set up Cobalt Play as an official business here in the UK and then work as the full-time developer as well. So that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm hopefully building a bigger, deeper project which I can then present to either potential investors or UK game funds or potential publishers maybe uh, as opposed to doing the uh, tradition not traditional but but the old model of, of um, getting something out into the market real fast and then just making cash flow uh, I would like to see if there is uh, potential for investment for this game that I'm currently working on so and, and I'll hopefully reveal some more details soon. It's just a, it, it's a very basic number puzzle game. What's set in a square, and you have to move numbers around to make the uh, the the rows and the columns add up together. Uh, it's kind of similar to Sudoku. Uh, I'm personally enjoying it uh, because I do like IQ maths based games, and I don't think there's much. I don't think I've seen anything in VR so far in that. I've, I have seen a couple of puzzle style games, but nothing like a math based puzzle game in VR so that might be something which is an opportunity um, so we'll see how that goes anyway but jumping back into like a bigger project for uh, doing it myself is good 
Uh, it's a lot of fun, but it's also difficult because of the um, the writer's block that I get sometimes, which is always an issue for me. If I know what I'm doing and I know what I, and I know what I want to get finished, I can do it pretty fast, and and the workflow is smooth. Um, obviously, I run into programming. Uh, challenges like it like any code like with any code base like how to do it um but i actually find those challenges easier than the writer's block the designer's block if you want to call it that where you're trying to figure out what the heck to uh, what the heck to build you know like oh what should i do next to make it fun that's that's not uh, that's not an easy task so we'll see how that goes anyway uh the other point i wanted to make guys is uh, we're looking to uh, also expand our developer publishing so publishing games from you guys onto the amazon app store seems to be the store where we have the most traction right now probably because we have a few years on there now and we've got accounts which cross promote each other so we are looking to get more games for the amazon app store if you're getting terrible download numbers or you're not seeing any traction in that store uh, if you have a good game that you'd like to share with us, then definitely please send it to me. Uh, you can comment here or just send to uh, my email, uh, which is martin at coboltplay.com. Uh, and also CC our publishing manager, which is naeem at coboltplay.com. That's N-A-Y-E-E-M at coboltplay.com. C-O-B-A-L-T-P-L-A-Y.com. Uh, and CC me as well, of course. So, yeah, if you guys are interested, please let me know. So, on to this video anyway. This is November 2016, so let's just see how we did on Chart Boost, first of all. The summary, 1,911 in November. That was up from 1,581 in October. I think it's been a little bit better this past few days. Uh, this year has been terrible, as I've said. Uh, it's been really naff. I mean, I, I know maybe to some people these look like bigger numbers, of course, to an, in, an indie developer, a one-man team, um, who might be very new or quite young, this, is, this looks like good numbers, but really for a business that has been around for five years, Cobble Play has been around for almost six years now, uh, it's not the best numbers in the world at all. So, as I was saying before about changing the business model and focusing on more quality, trying to get investors or publishers, that's going to be... Um, well, that's the way the successful companies seem to do it, you know? They build something great, they focus a lot of time, a lot of effort onto it. Uh, they do have backing in terms of investors, or they at least have some kind of publishing partner. So, but I mean, the numbers here for us, this is not good, especially when it's considering it's paying me plus some of the team as well of course so but 1911 ecpm eh, two dollars that's pretty normal for uh chart boost and that will probably go up in probably go up more towards christmas we'll see um but let's see the downloads let's take a look at the past three months actually we'll see if there's been any effects there was a slight jump sort of towards last week i think it was uh the beginning of, Dece of december so um it, it was a little bit better i mean this is going back to november here this is the 8th of november 9th of november and then we had a bit of a jump here towards the middle of november and it's been slightly higher in december so around 4917 downloads there 10,000 downloads you can see the peaks as well these are the saturdays these big peaks they're, they're higher than november